Remember, remember the 5th of November. Today's Thursday, October 10th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $23. One Bitcoin is $125. Peace News Now is brought to you by Bitcoin and Silver. From friends of WeUseCoins.com and SonsOfLibertyMint.com. Trade with fine silver quarters from the Sons of Liberty Mint. That's Sons with a U. The most divisible, usable silver on the planet. Order some today. That's Sons with a U. Sons of LibertyMint.com. Demonstrators hope that one million masked activists will descend on Washington, D.C. next month to celebrate Guy Fawkes Day with a mass rally to remind the world that fairness, justice, and freedom are more than just words. The Million Mask March is scheduled for November 5th and is being arranged by affiliates of the international hacktivism movement Anonymous. The group has been circulating flyers on the web and in Washington where they now request that a million activists discuss as Fox, march on the National Mall on November 5th around causes such as government reform, the pharmaceutical industry, and the use of genetically modified foods. In other news, Black Panther Herman Wallace was released from prison last week. He was originally imprisoned for charges of armed robbery that he denied, saying he was set up for political reasons. No physical evidence has ever linked him to the crime. After 41 years in solitary confinement, Herman died of liver cancer just days after being released. Among Herman's last words were, quote, I am free, I am free. Speaking of freedom, a man charged with drug possession is now suing the police for the months he spent in jail after a dash cam video revealed that the law enforcer planted the drugs. You can see an object falling from the cop's hand as he searches the man, who can be heard in the video saying, quote, you had that bag on you. I gave you consent to search. I don't know why you're doing this to me. After reviewing the tape, the judge immediately dropped the man's charges. Whoops, caught us! Sorry about all those months locked in a rape room. This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. I use the free Bitcoin wallet at blockchain.info. It syncs with your smartphone for easy and secure access anywhere. Do you use Bitcoin? Blockchain.info. A student at Temple University is suing the Atlantic City police. Police charged the student with disorderly conduct, resisting arrest, and aggravated assault on an officer and a canine. Fortunately, surveillance video requires recorded the entire incident. It reveals that 20-year-old David Connor Castellani was brutally attacked by about 10 law enforcers who pinned him to the ground and beat him with batons. During the beating, more enforcers arrived to join in the bloodlust, provoking a raging police canine to bite and hold David's neck. David needed more than 200 stitches to close the gaping wounds and potentially life-threatening injuries left by dog bites to his head and neck. He was also treated for a crushed spinal nerve and numbness on the right side of his skull. The mayor of Atlantic City says he found the video, quote, quite disturbing. But the police chief, however, said, quote, I stand by the officers. I stand by their actions. What do you think? Are there any good apples left in law enforcement? Share your thoughts on the Peace News Now Facebook page. In other news, the National Congress of American Indians recently published a poster which aims to help others empathize with their view. They see it as degrading, insulting, and racist to use Native American images for the clear Cleveland Indians and the Washington Redskins. Their poster features mock baseball hats with insulting caricatures of different ethnicities, the New York Jews and the San Francisco Chinamen. What do you think? Tweet us at Peace News Now. In Shire News, Keene held a primary this week on positions in town government. Because of an obscure Keene law, a primary was held to narrow the people's choices down from 11 candidates to 10. In total, it cost the Keene bureaucrats about $5,000 to remove one candidate candidate from the general election. There are five Liberty candidates running in Keene. David Crawford, James Cleveland, and Conan Salata for ward councillors, Ian Freeman for councillor at large, and Daryl W. Perry for mayor. Check freekeen.com regularly for updates on the peaceful evolution happening in Keene, and remember to check out the Keenevention this November at keenevention.info. Peace News Now is on the next news network and is brought to you by friends of weusecoins.com and SonsofLibertyMint.com. Share this episode with your friends. And if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J. reminding you that peace is the way.
everyone somewhere inside loves the idea of freedom.